So you're interested in healthcare consulting, but you don't necessarily want to start a healthcare consulting business. If that sounds like you, then you're in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you two options for you to explore if you're intrigued with healthcare consulting, but you don't wanna start a consulting business. Welcome healthcare consultants. I'm so happy you tuned in to today's video. If you're meeting me for the very first time, my name is Elle. I'm an independent healthcare consultant with a background in nursing leadership. I'm also a business advisor to aspiring and experienced healthcare consultants. In today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you two options for you to explore if you're interested in entering the healthcare consulting industry, but you don't necessarily want to start a healthcare consulting business. And I completely understand. As always, my intention is to always share with you your options to explore as a healthcare professional who's interested in consulting. The first option I'm gonna to introduce to you is to seek employment as a healthcare consultant. There are enterprise, mid-size, and even small consulting firms that will hire you as a consultant. I'm sure you've heard of the Joint Commission. And for those of you who have not, I'd be surprised, but the Joint Commission is an accrediting organization who works with healthcare facilities to make sure that their standards and guidelines and best practices are up to par through surveying to make sure this organization is good to go for accreditation. Now, did you know the Joint Commission has a international and a regional division for consultants? They actually hire healthcare consultants just like you and me. So if you were interested in working for the Joint Commission or any other healthcare consulting firm, all you would have to do is a little bit of market research to identify what consulting firms are in the market space, what do they specialize in, what deliverables do they provide, and do you have the experience to potentially join their team? Go to their website, seek out that information, and apply if you are qualified. My best advice to you if you have absolutely no experience but you're seeking employment as a healthcare consultant would be to search for those small to mid-sized healthcare consulting firms, find out who the principal consultant is, look for them on LinkedIn potentially, and reach out, build a connection, start a relationship and a conversation, and let them know that you are interested. Relationships will go a very long way in this business. The second option I want to introduce to you is subcontracting. Subcontracting as a healthcare consultant will provide you with flexibility if you are still employed, but you really want to learn how to work on consulting projects and really navigate the consulting space. Just as you would do your market research and explore what consulting firms exist and the specialty that you are most experienced, the same thing applies for subcontracting. You want to identify those specific consulting firms and consulting agencies that you could potentially lend your experience and your resources as a subcontracted healthcare consultant. Relationships go a long way also when you're looking for subcontracting opportunities. Just just as you would look for those consulting agencies and consulting firms, find out who the principal consultant is and reach out to them and introduce yourself. I would do the very same thing if I were looking for subcontracting opportunities. Even as an independent healthcare consultant, I've built relationships with other healthcare consultants who've actually reached out to me for me to subcontract on their larger consulting contracts. So you can do the same thing and the great thing about subcontracting again it allows you the flexibility to work on contracts in a team capacity as well as you can stay employed at wherever you work currently or you can continue to run your business as a healthcare consultant as well 
So those are two options for you to explore if you're interested in healthcare consulting, but you don't want to start a business. And whether you are an independent healthcare consultant, you're looking for employment, or you're just looking for subcontracting opportunities, relationships will always be pivotal in you getting your foot in the door, especially if you have no experience. I hope you found that information informative. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.